Hey guys, how's it going? Um, let's come in and check another video here. I know it's been a while because I've been on. Um, the last video I did was a, a fan question. Um, if you all saw it. Um, I was doing it for um, a YouTube channel called that, that Hashtag Show. Um, go check them out. I was um, doing it for a, um, they have a lineup of Power Rangers actors, interviews, you know lined up and I was doing submitting a question that I wanted to submit and so it was from Melody Perkins. Um she was in both Power Rangers in Space and Lost Galaxy. Um but yeah that was, that was a fan question but when they upload that um interview, whenever that may be, I'll probably take that down then Sparks it's not meant to be there. It's not meant to be there forever. Um it was just I guess it was just a fan question, so but prior to uh, that one, they're not standing. Last video I did was um, my take on the um, the Umqua Community College shooting that happened about a month ago um, in Oregon. So yeah, so I guess I kind of got a little lazy on doing the video videos. Um, so how am I doing? I'm still hanging in there. Um, I'm trying. I'm just going day by day. Still would like to get a job, but we're still trying to figure that out. We're still... I still got things going on at home. I know I always say that, and I know I'm being vague, but... And I know I've said this before, but I'm just not ready to talk about things now. But just... Got just, a lot of major things going on right now, so... I hope you understand why I'm being... A, being, you know, just... You know, tight-lipped about it, so just... No. And plus, I don't want to have to make you worried. I don't want to have to make anybody who watches my videos, I don't want to have to, have to worry about me. Either. But just, just, I just have my reasons, I guess. So, and so yeah, um, well, yeah, I'm, I'm still hanging in there. Um, what if, have I done anything um, eventful recently? Well, when Halloween came around, what, did I do anything special? No, not really. I mean, I haven't been trick or treating since uh, 2008. That's seven years ago. Um, I was a junior in high school at the time, and I was 16, and I'm 23 now. Um, but yeah. Oh, well, of course, I know at one point I was uh, sent around, um, get to surf around Google Hangouts, and I decided to join this one. I can link it up for you in the description after I'm done with this video here. Yeah, it was one with just, um, bullshit, and, and I guess I wasn't too particularly talkative. And then after a while, I got, got, kind of got to talking about this whole, um, uh, science and evolution versus religion and everything, and then after a while, I just got bored with it and just left. Didn't want to be too rude. Well, uh, of course, I did type up, type up a comment on the side chat or whatever, saying, hey, thanks for having me on. And it just, Left because it, and after I noticed, just, uh, yeah, I thought we're supposed to be, I thought we we're just there to bullshit. As I said, I can, after I'm done with this video, I can, uh, link it in the bottom ditch below. Um, yeah, so as I said, it didn't, other than that, my Halloween wasn't too especially eventful. So, no, um, I guess, uh, I guess we'll see what happens next year. And, um, within the last week and a half, um, um, what else have I done? Um, I did spend the uh, night over at my grandmother's house. Um, was, uh, as far as my grandparents are, are concerned, both my grandmas are still alive, thank God. Um, and, you know, one of them lives in my neighborhood, the other one lives in, uh, in Glen Burnie. I don't know if I should be really insane that, but then again, I'm not really giving out addresses or anything. So, um, but yeah, because I know my uncle's birthday, one of my uncles, uh, his birthday's next month, uh, November 12th, and, you know, I got to spend some time with him. Um, you yeah, know, spend, spend the day with him, and, um, And this is my uncle, my, one of my uncles on my mom's side. 
Um, and he was 59. And I went bowling with him, and the, the bowling's one of his things. Um, and then, of course, I spent the night at my grandmother's house. Oh. And after that, the uh, next day, my grandma took me in the shoe shop and looked like I was going to need some, you know, some fresh shoes. And so, I had that going on. Um, yeah, but other than that, just, just taking each day as it comes. So, of that, the. And um, if you're wondering um, if I've been keeping up the news lately, yes, I have, in my own rank. Um, you know, there have been some news topics that uh, have come and gone. You, one might you know, think that I might cover these, I've heard some, but I'm not the biggest reply girl. Um, not to mention, of course, I'm sure there's some people out there who can comment on certain news events. Better, I feel better than I can. So, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'll be able to say. You know, how I'll be able to quote unquote eloquently um, put it. But, if you want to hear my events, on certain events, if you want to hear my take on that, I'll thank you. Um, Um, let's see, one thing I've been, this is one thing I've been hearing about regarding the, um, University of uh, Missouri. Um, I've been hearing about that, apparently there's kind of some racial tensions going on there, and, um, and I've been hearing about that, and got to where, um, the president of that school was dying. Um, I know. Anyway, that was my mom you know, walking by, so ignore that part, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm not going to stop the video just for that little moment right there. Um, Anyway, there's been some racial tensions going on at the uh, University of Missouri. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. That especially, you know, I don't know what else to say on that matter. Well, it's not what's already been said, but um, hopefully uh, things can get cleared up and everything. And uh, um. I mean, there's been guys out there that have spoken about, it, like, um, Monday Mad, um, I think, uh, Thunderfoot may have spoken about it, um, I don't know, um, I know another YouTuber that I watch, uh, his name is Vernaculous, and he spoke a good bit about it, um, and of course, there's also been kind of some tensions going on at Yale University. Um, I think the best way to get some insight on it is um, Vernaculus, as I just mentioned. Um, he spoke about both schools, Yale and Mizzou. Um, I can link his video down in the description below. Um, so, if I, I'm sorry, I'm not being descriptive enough and all that, but just. Why don't you watch uh, Vern's video so I can give you a little bit of insight into what's going on and form your own opinion there. Um, also, another thing. Uh, this one is uh, involving Gamergate a little bit. In that, um, if you all know who the New York Sarkeesian is, um, she and um, Zoe Quinn. Oh, yeah, I think I may have spoken about this. But. In the previous video, but I'll just talk about it again here. You can go check out my last video on that. Um, yeah, she and Zoe Quinn went to the UN, and of course, basically won. Uh, and you guys are basically won. Uh, to silence her uh, critic because she said she's tired of. Um, 
some people just suck, you're wrong, blah blah blah, and I think based on what I've learned and based on, based on what, what has been observed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much censorship shit, which is kind of funny because when she was on Colbert report about a year ago, she says she didn't want to censor anything, just she wants to bring the topic of the trails of women in video games. Well, a lot of, a lot of the things she has said has been thoroughly debunked. And it might be safe to say, there's some well, has been going on and said that she might as well be considered a charlatan. So, uh, I think I remember doing the um, video a while back, so, yeah. Um, and speaking of the two of them, um, yeah, Zoe Quinn supposedly is getting a movie that's going on her and that's looking at um, Scarlett Johansson. Uh, based on what I've learned about Zoe Quinn and these um, the only claim is basically a large reason why game or game exists. Um, you know, I don't know if that movie will ever come to fruition, but what point would that be in doing so? And especially since, you know, there's a lot of learned observed game or game is like the big old doogie man, you know, there's just big one stuff. But this way, it would be kind of helped out you know, to get those sides of the issues when it comes to Gamer Gate. Not to just take the one sided, ooh, Gamer Gate is a boogie you know, thing going on. Um, we already have the Sarkeesian effect you know, made by David Serene and Dorn so. I don't know. Um, but. You know, since we've already um, got Sarkeesian fact out and about, and supposedly uh, Zoe Quinn movie, if that movie ever comes about, if you've ever heard of Brianna Wu, you might as well put a movie on her. <laughs> but then again, of course, with the harassment. Um, but yeah, the fact. Um, I don't know. Um, and of course, I did hear about. Um, that horrific attack in Paris, France, earlier this month, on November 13th, no less. Which is kind of funny because this month was actually, um, at a Friday the 13th. Because if you've ever noticed, any month that starts on a Sunday is guaranteed to have a Friday the 13th. Like this year, um, 2015, February had it, March had it, November. Had it. Talk about um, Friday the 13th, huh? Oh. <laughs> All I can really say is just kind of hope, hope best for Paris. And of course, I think it was committed by like, ISIS and Muslims and all that. <laughs> I'm just, there's a huge conflated thing when it comes to Muslims and Islam and all that and violence and everything. And, um, kind of sad in a sense, like, I'm sure it doesn't. Have like decent Muslims kind of said the hell they're doing bad name because of the extremist ones. Um, well, and we're, um, we here in the states we're not entirely safe in most of them. because we, some of our people have been killed by them. So we really need to do shit about that. Do something about them. And the weird thing too is um, yeah, uh, what was going on? Um, uh, at New Zoo, they were bitching all over Twitter, like, oh no, you know, Paris door spotlight. This is a, this, what happened, I mean, what was going on there, and I'm sure they messed up, but, that horrific attack in Paris, much, much more worse than what you're dealing with. Like, how I was the Kmart. Well, we can have them with my grandmother going shooting shopping. I almost left my phone at Kayla. That would have been, that would have no, that would have been nothing compared to um, having a grams. You know, like my phone can usually be replaced. 
I still have my phone, by the way. But I'm saying if I had lost it, it could have very well been a place. Um, uh, human lives cannot. So. So, just all I can say just hope for the best for finance. And just hope we can do shit from about ISIS. So that's all what's all been going on with me. Um, uh, one more thing, by the way. Um, yeah, I don't want to be going on in my life. I was in, at the mall last week in Annapolis. Um, Mom and I were just hanging out there. I got to see the went to um and went to the cinema. I I went to go see the new Bond movie called Spectre. Well, good. And I guess you know, it was, I could be saying that because when it comes, when it comes to Bond, I've always been a great fan of the character. Oh, so, where's I was saying I wanted to see it, but I didn't want want to force my mom to see it. So I guess she said, "Oh, go ahead, have fun." Um, neither of us were offended, but I was not offend, offended by her not being there, uh, and she was not offended by the fact that I wanted to go by my that I chose to go by myself. You know, I just I just I don't know, just I'm sure that it's probably not that uncommon practice for um. People to go to the cinema by themselves. So just you know, um, just you know, I wanted to see it. She's like, "Oh, cool, go ahead, have fun." Bought me a ticket, went to see the movie. I had a good time. Um, so was in that in, in, in that was mall. I think it was called. It's called I guess the mall is itself called. It, itself is called Westfield. Not like that, but it's in Annapolis, so which it's informally called Annapolis Mall. So anybody who lives in Maryland or anywhere in AAC, in Annapolis County, which is where I live, um, anybody who's even vaguely familiar with Annapolis or at least that mall, anyone who says Annapolis Mall, I'm pretty familiar with it. So I mean, I've been to that mall before. So, so yeah. Um, well, uh, I guess I, I went to that. Went to the cinema, saw that movie, and I enjoyed myself. Um, especially since I haven't been to the cinema in over under two years. Oh, yeah. Because this is the first picture I've seen in the cinema. You know, but the last time I went to the cinema, um, they released Jurassic Park in 3D back in 2013 because I was 20 years old, you know, 1993 to 2013, you know, 20 years. Because I was born in 92, so I wouldn't. Even if I had been in the TV movie in theaters, excuse me, um, I would have I would have had no memory of seeing it since I was only a year old. So, they, so as I said, they re-released that movie, except that they put it in 3D. So, mom and I went out and saw the movie. Um, I was in it not so much for the fact that it was in 3D, but um, I wanted to do it for the experience. I've seen, I've seen the movie many times. One of my favorite films, personally. Um, and uh, I never had a chance to see it in theaters, especially since I was only eight years old. Um, so I wanted to take that opportunity. I wanted to, you know, 20 years. And also, I was in it for the experience of seeing one of my favorite movies on the big screen, as opposed to being at home. So, and of course, back then, two years ago, when I went to go see it, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed myself. So, as I said, this is the first time in two years that I got to see a movie in the cinema. So, it's kind of funny. I think I've, been, I've seen uh, at least w one picture. From what I can remember, I've seen at least one picture, one or more pictures in the cinema since 2001. I think in New Year's, that, from what I can remember, that I was unable to was 2003 and 2014. I mean, I don't think I ever saw a theater picture in um, cinema in 2003. If I did, I don't remember, but I don't think I don't think so. In 2014, I'm pretty sure I didn't. So that's kind of sucked that I wasn't able to. So yeah, so, so there's that. So I guess with all that said, I guess that's all I really have to say on the matter. So thanks for watching, you guys, or at least those who. Um, watch my videos. Thank you, and thanks for keeping up with me and all. So, 
So with all that said, just um, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, I guess I'll see you next video. Okay then, bye guys.